Alright, we're back. Let's go see what's up with Rex. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Yeah, I understand. Calm down, Rex. I'm not the enemy here. Saren's the one you should be mad at. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon! And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. Whoa, buddy. Alright. You know, you know me. Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren. Tools. Is that what you want for them? No. We were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. That's right. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. I'll see what I can do about that, Rex. And yeah, that's, uh... That little confrontation there can go a couple different ways. Uh, if you... I'm not completely sure if helping Rex get his family armor back... I, I, that might play a role in it. I don't think you have to get it back, but I think it helps. I believe you're charm and intimidate and your paragon or renegade scores um, need to be a certain rank to uh, be able to con convince him to step down because if not um, you'll be forced to kill him and Rex will be dead which really would suck I think because Rex is one of my favorite characters in the entire trilogy your ability to calm the Krogan is impressive huh Relay there. All right, let's see if we can find this Rentola guy to uh, buy some equipment, maybe, or sell off some of this junk we don't need. Oh, my squad's here. Normally, I wouldn't think much of Solarians in a firefight, but these soldiers seem well trained. Yeah. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Saren must be stopped. Okay. Greetings, human. I am Commander Rentola. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. For anything else, I suggest you speak with Captain Kirahi. Let me see what you have. What little there is. Hmm. Ah, you do have a license. I will take that. And let's sell... Sell some of these. Yeah, that's not that great. Sell off all this crap. I don't need any of that. That thing is terrible. That is also not that great. Sell some of these pistols. Actually, I think that fusion explosive... Fusion explosive grenade is an upgrade to what I have, so I'll keep that. I'm just going to get rid of all this stuff. Sell it all. Because 
I'll be getting some more. <coughs> oh yeah, I got all this. Let's let's get some Omni Gel. Ah, eh, screw it. We'll just take it all. And grenades. Yeah, let's upgrade that. All right, let's talk to Kirahi and get this mission underway. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20-second <coughs> orbit. Crude, but a <coughs> Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Well, what other choice do we have? It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. Um... It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. Alright, well... So, I send one of them with Kirahi. The other one will have to defend... arm the nuke. And possibly have to defend it. <laughs> and in that case... I'm inclined to send Caden with Kirahi because he'll have Caden's. Mm, Ashley's probably the better soldier, but Caden will be in a squad, so he doesn't have to fight alone. So his maybe his lacking combat skills will be made up for with the rest of the squad he's with. Whereas if Ashley's with the bomb and we need her to defend it. We might need her skills to do that, so you, I'm going to send Caden with Kirahi. Elenko, you're with the captain. Keep it simple, understood? Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. Shadow seems clear enough. What will the other teams be called? Eigor, Manovai, and Jeeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. All right, let's do it. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything foolish while I'm gone, Ash. And that goes for you too, Commander. We'll be fine, LT. Yeah, I just... Good luck. It's a dangerous situation. 
Keep your eyes open and be ready for anything. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glory in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. The silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden facts. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. That was a nice speech. I think Shepard could have done better, though. Alright, so we're taking Rex, of course. And Garrus this time. Might need a sniper rifle. <clears throat> Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Alright. Um, let's see if we can do some leveling up here. Let's upgrade barrier. Garrus. Shield boost. And Rex warp, please. Okay, let's save it. Let's look at the map. So, there's a few secondary optional objectives that you can perform. Shadow here. is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Lieutenant Alenko with the Igor team. Manovai, Jayato teams, move. Time to get some attention. I've lost shields! What? Who in cover? How the heck did I get shot? All clear. Alright, let's get the assassination here. There we go. Take that sniper out. Jerk. up guys. Head over here. I don't see any more enemies. Oh. There are some enemies. Fire is coordinated on Monovi team. We can't reach the Geth turrets. They're out of range. Communications. That's one of the optional objectives, and these are uh, these are things you can do to help uh, Captain Kirahi. 
and uh, it's not a bad idea at all to try to do whatever you can to help him because as they mentioned in the briefing here they're pretty much on a suicide mission. A He's got a shot. Lieutenant Alenko, take the heat off Man of Eye. Oh wait, let me uh let me look at Garrus here. He's got Let's give him that and a kinetic stabilizer for a sniper rifle. Better scanner and connects tungsten rounds he's already using. Okay. What's he using here? Energized weave, that's good. Um Area secure. Garrus, switch to your sniper, please. And we are I think I'm gonna go this way and Make a loop around, see if there's anything we can do. Any enemies? Looks like there is some enemies. Get them guys out of here. Sat strikes. JNO, watch for comm stations. Alenko, can you see anything? Blow that thing up, please. There we go. Oh, there we go. Destroy the satellite uplink. There's another optional thing to help out Kiri's men. and still gonna keep searching for ways to help. Okay. 
There's my timer too, right in the middle of a fight. So I'm gonna finish this fight here and there we go. Geth flyers destroyed. Alright. So let's quick save. I'm gonna cut here and uh, come back and keep going on the mission. Thank you for watching.